Recently, there had been reports of infighting in the ruling People's Partnership and concerns by the COP members that they were not given their just piece of the political pie. But political leader of the COP, Winston Dukaran, believes the parties involved can work out the problems. I think a strong Congress of the People is a strong People's Partnership. And I think in the same way that each party in the coalition must conduct its affairs to ensure that there is a high degree of democracy will all help the People's Partnership in pursuing its objective, which is to bring good governance to Trinidad and Tobago. Congress members had expressed concerns about the non-appointment of their members to state boards, although a list had been submitted to the partnership hierarchy. Expressing pleasure at the COP's first internal elections, he says he sees it as a renewing of the party. Well, I think there will be a renewal. Uh, elections are about a renewal of, of the mission of the party. Um, new faces, obviously, more than likely, will come forward and the party will now have a new set of energies to move forward in its mandate ahead of us. Not offering to say who were his choices, Dukaran today casts his vote at the Tinapuna constituency office. He also explained his addressing officials of the IMF, the World Bank, and the Caribbean finance ministers in Washington recently. This was the annual meeting of the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, and the Commonwealth Finance Ministers meeting all at the same time in Washington. So I attended uh, my capacity as, as Minister of Finance and addressed all three groups. In my very last meeting was the Caribbean caucus meeting of finance ministers. The political leader post of the COP comes up for grab in 2011. For CNC3, I am Samuel McKnight.